Hi, my name is Abiola, and I want to talk about something that is really very important. I want to talk about the most common lies that entrepreneurs tell themselves and how to avoid them. Having worked with business owners for over a decade, here are six top excuses that I hear every single day from small business owners. Number one, I can't afford it. As in, I can't afford to pay someone $20 to $50 per hour on this task. While on the surface, this sounds like you're concerned about your budget and your bottom line. Mm. What it really means is that you're not confident enough in your ability to create higher value items. This could be because you feel like you lack the skills to do anything higher value and it could be a cry for help time management wise. As you know that your freed up time will be spent putting out fires. Number two, I don't have the time. You spend your day putting out fires and handling people's tasks. Is it any wonder that you don't have time to grow your business? Stop telling yourself you don't have time and start looking at exactly what you spend your time on. Are they value, high value tasks or are you just spending your time on low level tasks that you can really delegate to other people? Number three, no one can do it as well as I can. This lie is called for, I can't delegate that kind of authority. Yeah, that's really what it means. What if she makes a bad decision? Yeah, it's your insecurity, it's your fears. What if you messes up a client relationship? Of course, there are different levels of delegation based on the experience set and the abilities of your team. But business owners who reflexively hold tight to the reins of all decisions and authority in their business end up being owned by the business, like the business literally own you instead of you owning the business at the end of the day. Number four, let me check my email really quickly. This is the lie we tell ourselves instead of facing the harsh reality of our dependent relationship with our business. If I'm not accessible or on top of my texts or emails or voicemails, my business might just explode. Or I know it's my focus day, but what could, what could it hurt if I just open my inbox and just quickly check what's going on there? That is just to show how very dependent your business is on you. Number five. I'll just wait and see what happens. As in, I know what a real staff issue can be, but I will just wait and see if things straighten out you know, on their own first terms. So you have an issue with your staff, you see that this staff is, is not really performing, but you're just waiting it out. When you have a real issue, deal with it immediately. Don't let it linger or fester while you hope it will resolve itself. Why do so many entrepreneurs do this? Because they're not willing to face the temporary discomfort, usually emotional discomfort of meeting the moment directly. Number six, I'm not making any progress. If the first five lies were not bad enough, perhaps the worst lie of all is when you tell yourself you're not making progress in your business. You find yourself saying, that project is complete, but next time, Stop and celebrate your victories. Don't nitpick the results or downplay your successes. Savour the moment and take in your progress. So, which lie are you guilty of? Get to the bottom of it and face your fears squarely. That, my friend, is the only way forward. I know you got value from this video, right? And if you did, please share your comment. Remember, this is not a monologue. This is a dialogue. I want to read from you. And if this was valuable enough for you, please tag other business owners to also watch it. Of course, like and share. And I will be back again some other time with some more interesting content for you. But for now, for now.